Within this video, I'll go through everything you need to know about fire within Sea of Thieves. Stay tuned. Fire was leaked by James Thomas during a dev stream as one of his favourite additions to the game back on the 27th of August, titled Revenge of the Morning Star, and has only just been added to the game in November's The Seabound Soul update. Fire is considered a throwable weapon and as such a new radial menu option has been added to the game. You can also set key bindings for throwables, which gives the impression that more may be entering the game in the future. There are three ways that you can start fire on your ship. Overcooking food, whether it's meat or fruit. If you leave food on the stove for too long, it will burn until it eventually sets fire to your ship. You will have to remove the burning food from the stove, otherwise the fire will respawn. You also need to extinguish the fire in order to prevent the spread. During testing, I was unable to determine whether burnt food starts the fire at a set time or has a chance to spawn after a certain point. Either way, the food set fire to the ship between five to seven minutes of burning on the stove. An exploding keg will now create fire on your ship, as well as do damage to your hull and equipment, making them even more of a threat than before. Fire bombs are a new mechanic that have been added to the game. They can be found in barrels on the islands, similar to cursed cannonballs and other resources. They aren't guaranteed to be there, however, are frequent enough to find. Firebombs can do damage to players, including yourself, so be mindful of the distance when you throw them. When thrown at an animal in games such as a pig, they'll kill it instantly, leaving you a burnt piece of meat. You cannot set pets on fire. You can also set fire to skeletons. Additionally, you can shoot the firebombs outside of a cannon. Kraken's megalodons can't be set on fire. Presumably this is because they're in water, despite some of them being out of the water. You can set fire to skeleton ships, however I was unable to sink one using only the fire bombs as the fire was extinguished and I ran out of bombs. Once the fire has been extinguished, the char remains on your ship. Presumably this was done in a way similar that wooden planks stay after you've repaired the hull as it goes towards telling a story of your playtime within the game. To extinguish the fire, you need to apply water to it. You can do this via the buckets and the new water barrel that has been added to each of the ships. The water barrels hold three buckets of water and can be refilled by pumping it three times. One pump is equal to one bucket. To do this, you need to press F to make your pirate use it, then click and hold the left button while your pirate pulls the lever. Xbox buddies, please let me know below what the command is for you. While you're using the water bucket, it appears that you cannot overfill the bucket and flood your ship. You just waste your time in doing so. You do, however, have to complete the entire animation for the water to stay. When you're on fire, you'll see a fire effect around your screen. You'll also have a small song-like music play in the background, while other effects are muffled until Either the dot damage over time effect dissipates or you extinguish the fire by jumping into the water or pouring a bucket over yourself using the new right click mechanic that was added this game. If you stand in the fire you will take continual damage until you leave it at which point the previously mentioned dot will continue to do damage as it times out or until you extinguish the fire or you die. Rain also extinguishes fire from your ship if you happen to stumble into a storm while your ship is on fire. Lightning doesn't appear to start any fires as it's put out by the rain and lightning only appears in a storm. I did a few test runs in controlled environments to find out if it makes a difference where you start the fire and the time it takes to sink your ship. However, I admit I wasn't as quick on the start and stop button as I would have liked to be. I used fire bombs and threw one at the wheel of every ship, the main mast and below deck to see if it made a difference and if so, how much. Where the fire starts does seem to have an impact on the amount of damage done to the ship and the length of time it takes to sink as a result. For example, if you set fire on a sloop, brig or lower deck on a galleon next to a wall, the first hole in the hull will generally extinguish the fire before it takes hold. However, if the fire is started in the middle, the fire moved left, right, forwards, backwards and up before breaching the hull. 
by the time the hole was broken, filling the bottom with water, the top level was almost fully engulfed and the fire had already spread. To do the most amount of damage and be a nuisance to an enemy crew, you want to target things on their ship such as masts, cannons or the barrels. This makes it so that the enemy pirates take damage in order to access them or spend time putting the fire out prior to accessing them. If you've discovered any other tricks or tips with fire, let me know in the comment sections below. Otherwise, let me know how you feel about fire being added to Sea of Thieves. However, that's all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Share the video with your friends so we all stay informed. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.